everyone, this is Star King Wizard and today I'm going to do the promise where I did in the Minecraft River, I'm going to release of the freaking video of, of the meme that I state that is legit copying your homework but make it worse. And this is, this is where it all begins. I first go into the Google Play Store, right? And then I said, let's just type in the Thirstle Piece 2 as a meme for saying, haha, there shouldn't be a sequel. Which, as you can tell, the original is right here, the one that everyone knows and loves if you're basically been a fan of this game but now here's when things started to go downhill when i scroll down i see this one i tested this one and this isn't 100 a copy and it's actually 100 better like this one takes the like, tenor so piece but make it like at least a little bit original and almost very um interesting this one however is the, the pinnacle of copy your homework but make it worse this one is the pinnacle of copying your homework but make it better as you can see the picture of it doesn't look like anything is suspicious right it looks like oh it's supposed to be normal but then when we scroll down you can already see the reviews is it's 2.3 stars and 50k downloads and it's and yeah but then when we look at the images look at this it's immediately 100 percent confirmed copy they legit copied the Terrasol piece 100%. As you guys can can see, there's um, they legit copied the freaking gear. They legit copied the boat. They copied the the new picture. They copied basically the freaking faces of all of them by having that same gosh darn face. They legit copied and pasted, but made it worse. This map is horrible. What I really liked about the original is it it's pixelated like. Nobody has done that before in our entire life. Made it it's very pixelated in a mobile game. This one is worse. It legit copied the bases as well. And yet he even copied the same gosh darn military. They copied everything, dude. And look what's this. They even made it where like every the freaking main bases or the main superpowers uh, have 100% or almost close to 100%. And even have the same gosh darn colors. And what's worse is that they legit copy and paste it by the fact that China owns Mongolia and Russia owns Kazakhstan, which in the game also they own. This is 100% been copied. They legit copy it and paste everything without a doubt, and they claim it as theirs. And the good news is the reviews the is one star, which they already know it's a copy. But when you look at the reviews for the five star, that's when it all goes downhill. Because look, it's almost close to like half. And that's a very bad sign when th the fact is that it's five stars and it's not, and it's almost close to half. It means there's something wrong with the population. All right, as you can see, the game is already loaded in. Let us go click on it to see how it's gonna work out. <laughs> May wait, Unity. All right, understandable. Wow, this game is loading forever. All right, there we go. What is this? The legit copy the original piece by copying the, the in very intro. The legit give you in the language saying, "What language are you?" Before you play. Yep, th this is the first red warning sign. The legit copy of the original piece. And now let us begin the game. Since I'm an American, let us go scroll down to where America is. And yeah, they copied the Twitter piece by copying the same, um, the same basically format on how to choose a country. I wish they could have done something original where, like, you get to choose a country based on, like, by moving a map and just say, oh, I'm going to be United States. I know what United States looks like. So, boom, I click that country. Or if you know, like, this country or know that shape, boom, that's the country you want to pick. No, they copied the Twitter by doing this. And as you get, as you can see, the photos are very different. N no, Scratch, we're going Russia on this. I need freaking Russian memes to help me on, help me out. Now let us, and look, they copy the same colors, all right? Look, they copy the exact same colors. Uh, why do we have to live in a society where freaking some stuff sucks? Sorry. I hope that communism will help me out in the end throughout this whole gosh darn video. <laughs> but yeah, and also immediately as you got as we gone in, 
this is look what happened. Look at the freaking country balls. It isn't the same as from the from the thumbnail, and I think I know why. This must be after the, they're getting backlash saying it's a legit copy. So they made a worse version of the Taylor Swift ball, country balls by making them give him these eyes. Beep, that goes against country balls as eyes entirely, you motherfucker. As a country ball person who's seen like country balls, yeah, this is this is humiliation. And look at this. I got an ad. Or in the game, you don't get ads in the middle of your gameplay. You son of a gun. Let's do a timer how much ads I do by the end of the video, just to see how much money they're getting off of this. They're getting money out of this. Alright, as you can see, look at these. These are like the worst. And look at my freaking men right here, my Russian men right here. Their, their, their eyes are basically freaking bad. Alright, we're gonna do... We're gonna go do something the following where we just perform something, I don't know. And also look, the country's freaking, game, freaking color function doesn't work properly great. As you guys can tell, there's some states that doesn't have the country balls in. Like states are basically not in the game which i can say th which i can definitely assure you i wish they did something original when it comes to this they could have done something original where they actually added countries that are not available in the main game but no they didn't even bother to do that they didn't even bother putting in luxembourg the new country that i forgot its name lebron like dude adding the countries that that has basically got new you motherfucker and yeah and look they changed everything they changed the boat and they changed the and they changed um, the, the nuke too, just so you know. So yeah, everything is from freaking bloody changed. And look, they copied the exact same freaking word, word from word from this one. The tour is between 1990 and 1950. And I'm here, I'm like, beep, alright. You copy from the Tears of Peace, first of all. And the worst part is the Tears of Peace is something good with Greece. So Greece has all of these lands, including Turkey, while this game doesn't even do that. And also look at, look, the, even the, the, the Spain owns these islands and you're telling me no. Like, dude, this game needs to freaking go fall down a wall. Alright, I really freaking wish that this is a freaking joke. Now let us go reform Russia. Get back our lands. Insert some Russian memes. Alright, but yeah, we need to go unite Russia again. But yeah, as you can tell, they legit copy this whole freaking thing. We're gonna go, like, watch. They, this is working Mongolia, aka Cha Yeah. They don't- Yeah, look, Japan owns that, which in the original game, they do own that. Yeah, like, they own that. The mission here is to unite Soviet Russia while dealing with the fact with the United States. Maybe launch a little- like, one new- and look at you now you say look at my dude the state i'm born in gets insulted by this look they don't get any country balls apparently my country doesn't exist so newsflash people the fact that we're saying united states doesn't exist is legit true united states doesn't exist it says every country that oppress the people all right so let us go so let us unite as um as freaking communists taking over the world. It's time for us to, to, to get this out of the way. If anyone here say the 100% didn't copy, you're a legit freaking idiot. Unless you're saying it as a joke. If you're saying it as a joke, haha, I will laugh at you. But if you're saying it legitly, you're 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 mentally blind or freaking short-sighted. Like you're basically freaking mental when it comes to seeing what the heck is the freaking what you've seen. And worst part is if you, a blind person can do better. A blind person can basically, if we tell them the description, they're gonna immediately say it's a copy. They're just saying them it, it, the exact same thing, saying, wait a minute, it sounds like an exact copy. And look, another freaking ad. They're getting money out of this, by the way, while in the Dick Crispies, you don't need to do that. They legit copy the same freaking um, thing, which I was showing the freaking in a roll but you can see right there that they just copied the same villa animation but just by hit it very very small and change everything to make it look like it's original which it isn't original but yeah as we're talking let us discuss about how we this game could have been something different they would have it would have been considered different 100 percent if they basically made the phone where like the borders are removed immediately as you can see my country my country is close to the country of my main and the and the border isn't removed that would have been something original where like, oh, the borders get removed. But no, this freaking game doesn't want to do that. It basically says, frick it, we're not doing anything original with it, we're just copying. Another thing they could have added is basically animations, or basically make it 100% pretty precise to country balls. Like, make it where like the country balls represents the size of the country. Or say, oh, it's just like the size of the freaking whole thing. Like, 
Russia right here. You could have made Russia become big and China be big. And also the other countries are right here big. But no, you, they didn't do that. I don't know if they actually added in that country or not. I don't think so. They didn't even add the country where Russia owns freaking some part of Europe. They legit didn't even do that. Come on, dude. They're legit getting money out of this. For freaking every time you made a country, boom, an ad. This, in the freaking game, they don't do that. So, at this point, everyone... It, to anyone who thinks this is freaking bad? No, this is way worse because you have every time you after you made the country an app pops up. Well, in the freaking main, in the freaking one that I play, it doesn't do that. So anyone here, you better well be grateful that this is a piece of something better than this. Like, at least they're not money hungry by basically making doing a little chuckle and saying they're taking your gosh our money. All right, all I wish, all I want to do is just sing the Soviet Union anthem, but like. The fact is that I'm not good at freaking timing the freaking song, so I'll not say it, sing it. But I would just say a few words. I don't know if I can make it better. But yeah, I would just compare with the words in the background. United forever, invention of labor. My the republic and freedom of all. Yeah, screw it. I don't know not to know the song. All, all I know is a few of it. Long live the Soviet fatherlands. Raised by the people's mighty hands. Long live the people united and free. Long live our kinship tried by fire. Live through a Christian flag, inspire freedom endures this roy. Yeah, I don't know the song or the lines, but yeah, I know a few ones. As we're talk as we're forming Russia right now, as we speak, taking off their lands little by little, so we can basically become big again. Let us, yeah. So let us do a list right now as to what they need to do. Okay, there's a war, 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 war. What the heck is this? Oh, oh wait, it is in the end. All right, got it. Oh, it costs 10 gold, but then after selling them in the country South Africa, you can get money out of it. All right, we're doing that to not freaking waste time. You can give him paper and then sell it over here. Got it, and we get the whole pack of paper. Let's get it. Let's buy 100. Dude, they legit doesn't even give us the option to freaking edit the thing. Yep, it shows this one is worse. Give me one. I'm worried that after all this is said and done, the paper value is gone. There we go. And then we're gonna go sell it over here. Go and then sell. Hurry. And then now I think I'm getting war. All right. Dude, that's why I do not play the game. I'm doing it for my sacrifice and not anyone else's. All right. Okay, yeah, we're sell all we're selling the whole freaking thing. Yeah, we made a profit out of that. That's quite helpful. All right, so yeah, the, the trading thing actually does work. I just I really to do, I'm willing to do that when an option arrives like that, and then you can trim my gameplay it's just to not waste time. So, and look, they copied the plane things as well, which fly over the freaking air. So yep, they copied. I wish this app gets removed, but I don't think so. All we can do is just harass it even more. To the point that the, the original developer or the publisher just get rid of it. So, all right, so I have a debate right now. Should I launch a nuke on this country or Finland? Oh, wait a minute. I'm being stupid right now. We don't need Finland. So we just we just need to reform Soviet Russia. And the borders are in Finland right now are not the ones that, that the Soviet Union actually owns. And, and to the people who keeps commenting on my video about how I messed up the border, I didn't mess up the border. I didn't mess it up. You because guess what? If you've seen the video about Mongolia, uh, it's been officially been stated that Mongolia was never ever going to be a part of the Soviet Union because it can be not because it can't. And there's also the fact that people keep saying, "Oh, Russia, the Soviet Union owned Finland," which isn't the which isn't true actually. The freaking, the Russians only own a part of it, which is actually in the modern borders till this very day, and even you see in the map. So, I just want you guys to stop telling me about that, because not only do you guys are not, you didn't actually 100% check it out. We're going to use that bomb on Ukraine.
So, and maybe, maybe we can do it on the fence if we get, if we, if we have time. All right, this one needs 32. Mm -hmm. All right, as you can see here, this is actually, they copy the freaking bases also. But yeah, all right, let us continue onward, shall we? All right, let's get, let's see how much money I can get on this whole thing. Let's see how much this whole thing costs. And yeah, it's a lot of money you see right now. My money is going down the drain. For this country of Russia. We need to form Soviet Union, everyone. Soviet Union. Russian power. We're about to unite um this country my the country that is over here that belongs to us to to Russia soon. We just need to get um more. All right, since we already talked a whole lot of crap about this, here's how I say we can make a better version of space if someone is out there is dedicated to doing it. I'm willing to do it unless I know how to code and learn how to cooperate, which I do not have the mentality or the time span to, to, sit, to talk with someone in the middle and say, I need to program this and they do what I told. There's like moderation and I'm not good for that. But yeah, right now, here's how, here's how we can, they can make a better game. First of all, in Terra Services, there's no alliance system. They could have done something beneficial by making an alliance system here in this game, but they didn't do that. Um, they could have added where like we can have submarines and basically say what happens we can use like do strategy with the army we have. What happens if we, we do not have enough men, but we do have enough of the aircraft. Then I say we can use like the aircraft first and then send the men in there to see the damage after the result of it. Like, do something like that, which is game legit copies it, and I really hate the fact that in Tears of Peace they don't do this, that, that type of system. And I wish they have it where, like, they do have, they do it like the system where there's upgrades, but I want it to be, like, 100% official upgrades, so, like, it's forever in the game, meaning after meeting a lot of countries, you, you basically, production gets better. For our rebellion card, for rebellions, like, I say the rebellions, if they basically do something better like that, I say this would have been a better game. There's also the fact they could have added where like there's like alliance and betrayal. You can betray your alliance by doing so. In the matter of fact that okay, let us go sh get this gun out and basically betray your allies, like something like that. Ice cream man, ice cream man, can you please shut the frick up? <laughs> shut the frick up. Don't 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 swear anymore. Ice cream man, as I said before, can you please shut the frick up? And yet the song is so cool. <laughs> if you guys hear the ice cream song, if not, then I'm sorry. But yeah, there's like an ice cream man outside and I don't know if the if the if the freaking mic is picking it up. It's quite funny. An ice cream man ruins my video. Put that as the title. An ice cream man ruined my video. Which I'm not going to do lol. That was just a joke on it by itself. Now, alright, it's that first unite. Unite the, the, the West. Or Europe. So we can basically get Russia back. Or part of it anyways. Alright, so yeah, it looks like we're done here. We just need to be careful on waiting and patience. And then we can use this nuke. Oh my goodness, my country is rebelling. As you, as you can see, and also, worst part is that they don't use coins for this. It said watch. Yeah, at this point, guys, everyone here should not be saying their terrorist piece is bad because this exists. Like, this makes it worse. And I wish they could do something interesting where, like, other countries can invade. Like, what happens? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be interested to see. Oh, I, what the heck? Kazakhstan invaded me? Or he's trying to invade me right now? Like, something like random moments in the gameplay that I never expected. Like, Make your world is like less predictable. If you make it more interesting, with like it's like something I ran, like, oh my goodness, and also make it where like countries are finding each other. Like make it where like um Russia is in, like make it where um Germany is attacking France, or France is attacking Spain, or France is attacking England, something like that. And then when you heard the news that are remaining you, you're shocked because you thought, oh, they were not, they're basically at war with the enemy. They're not supposed to do that. But then you find out. Yep, they did it. They did it anyways. They invaded. 
like at that exact moment you knew that was unexpected. Like I wish there was something like that in the Cures of Peace and oh my goodness. You son of a gun. It's time for us to invade you back. And they invaded again. And, and look, it's Austria. Austria? Austria, why you have to do it? Shucks, I can't even do the money. I can't even use the nuke because you're going to see in a minute why. I played this before, but let me say. At that very exact moment, you guys knew it was, it's over. It's legit over. You're going to see 100%. Like, you're going to be... You're going to be dropping your, you're going to be dropping the freaking, the, the insanity. 7518. And look, they copied the exact same thing. And look at this. They legit copied the exact freaking system. It's official. They legit copy and paste it. The fact this popped up on screen. Everyone saw it here first. And yeah. I'm going to have to just yellow it. Just freaking screw it. We just launched a nuke to somewhere that we do not know. Will it be America? Wait. Wait. Is it America? I swear. Is it America? Is it America? <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. We, we did it. We launched it in We launched it in the United States. Oh, dang, I freaking roasted them. Holy, <laughs> the fact is I freaking didn't mean to launch it at them, but the, but the fact that he did, <laughs> I, I, it looks like I, I did, I did waste it perfectly. That was a perfect plan, everyone. The communists will prevail <laughs> because that happened in front of our faces, guys. Communism will prevail. There we go. I just hate the frick, the freaking numbers is not even freaking bloody gosh our work. And so the people here are basically being mad right now. I'm sorry. I just realized that advance that Russia is planning to invade Ukraine. I just remember that. I'm sorry for an advance. If anyone sees this as offensive, I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. I just realized that I'm basically being Russia right now, invading, getting back to Soviet Union land. And I forgot about Ukraine's issue. I forgot. I just realized. So sorry in anyone in advance, if you're basically Ukrainian, but yeah, I'm sorry in advance. Yeah, there's hasn't been any trade update all oh mine. And oh yes, thank you to the subscribers who have been safe to subscribe to me ever since my absence. I'm sorry for that. It's just that college is a lot of hard work. And let me say, things are happening right now when it comes to college, and I will not talk about it unless you want, unless you want to know, which I will link my Discord server if you do want to talk to me. If not, then yeah, you could just just join and just have a good time with my fans, which I do, I want to do with the idea of communism in there. So remember that, and also Belarus is twenty twenty. All right, twenty twenty. All right, we're gonna have to attack and invade. Oh my gosh, All right, so we're about to start invading another country. All right, we need to unite the entirety against some um, China. So. It should be beneficial for us to do so. There we go. We'll wait until we invade. All right. All right, there we go. We can invade now. We will unite against China, as you see right now. And this is a big country, so it's basically bigger than Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine is more important and more defensive than this country. Okay, th that makes sense. Not. We basically made a united front against basically freaking China as a whole. We can invade basically both sides. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, moment. If you think it's freaking good or not, leave in the comments if it's freaking 100% bad or 100% good. Any of those things works or work to say, yeah, this is a horrible job. Do not blame, I'm trying to improve. But yeah, right now we need to finish off our, our you know, our invasion. As you can see, my, my basically freaking, my freaking game on is basically winning. We got, we got we got our countries back, boys. Hashtag revolution. Hashtag in the revolt. But yeah, thank you guys for staying for so long once again. I really do enjoy you guys are staying. I'll continue to do more content as we continue on for my last years of college. There's a chance I might have to stop YouTube by then. Dude, let me just freaking invade. Are right, we gonna go invade now? Hmm, what should we invade first?
I wanted this coast to like more borders since we can do yeah we're doing we're doing like land like the land the land challenge where we can only invade areas that are closest to us since dude like bruh saw with the gosh darn ants because for frick's sake yeah man now when now when a country is invaded Guess what? The country like this will when it becomes independent again multiple gosh darn times, guess what? They will not be considered a main threat anymore. Like they will not threaten our unity of freaking Russia now. I set up a gun. And I hear a certain song in the background right now that is now playing that is basically trying to convince all of us to stop being a communist, lol. <laughs> Sorry, we have to continue continue playing that song in the background. I don't care. I don't care. And when I go back to that server and Go back to that world, you know, the world, that survival world. I'm building that gosh darn wall. I just have an idea of how to make a wall. Let's colonize. But yeah, our industries is going quite well. Oh, we forgot about our own industry. <laughs> Everyone, when you forgot about your own country's industry, it, is that why it was taking too long? Maybe. Now we have our countries now united on this side of the world. The east side is secure now. Hashtag. Soviet Russia is now back on the east. Now it's time to freaking deal with these two countries left. Now let us go. Colonize. And yep, now we have Ukraine, which I'm sorry in advance that I forgot that. I'm basically playing countries invading, currently invading this country. So I'm sorry in advance. But yeah, it was just like Russia. Let's just play Russia. What can go wrong? And then I freaking thought they had the idea, oh, let's freaking made Soviet Union. I forgot. Sorry. Yeah, and I do mean that. I don't like the idea of war at, as of this time. But yeah, it looks like the West will be scared of us a little bit when we invade Ukraine. They will be like, holy frick, it's next to Poland, next to next to Austria, next to Romania. Like, there's already Russia borders at our border, what should we do? Like, yeah, I can imagine like a roleplay scenario on this. Kyrgyzstan, you need to just stop rebelling because we need to. We need you to help us invade Russia, no matter what. And you're gonna help us no matter what in the end of the day. So stop freaking rebelling. All right, you're going to rebel and and fight with us as we continue on our grand adventure to invade the world and spread communism and even give it to the freaking fake communists in China. All right, we can now invade Ukraine. We did it, boys. We got freaking Ukraine. And now it's time for us to do the following. We made this country, and now we're done with this gosh darn game. Yeah. Mm. There we go. I have freaking formed, freaking, I've united everyone in this freaking, I've, I've reformed the Soviet Union right now. I've reformed the gosh darn Soviet Union. I hope everyone is proud of me for doing that. I wish we, I wish I can launch a nuke to Finland in the very beginning of the game. Basically, do a middle finger on them, saying, "Frick you for invading our, for freaking resisting us, you motherfuckers, freaking dirtbags or whatever." But no, this is all we can do. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not playing any more of this. <laughs> but yes, I do agree with my points. Where like, if they make something original, I wouldn't be saying this is a copy. But this is 100% a copy. Heck. This is considered a gosh darn copy. The freaking thing. Yep, let us go to the freaking ending now, shall we? Alright, before we end this video off, let us go to the five star reviews. Let's see why they give them five stars, even though this 100% is a copy and paste. This game looks. Alright, yeah, no, that was the one we did in the beginning. This is a good game. Nice job. Fit game sets are okay to me because you can skip the after a second. Um, wrong. That's that's completely wrong right there. If you do some timing right there, you can tell it's not 100% a gosh darn second. Like, one second. What do you mean seconds? You mean like one second, two seconds, five seconds? Please elaborate, you freaking moronic, moronic person. It's pretty fun and one game will last for a while. By the way, to all those eggheads who were saying it's a ripoff of Dictators No Peace, I think it's better. No, it isn't better. It's freaking actually worse, you motherfucker. You random potato don't know how to become a freaking, a freaking basically become a freaking communist. And as a communist myself, who basically farmed those gosh darn potatoes, I can definitely assure you. Sorry, the Dictators No Peace is better than this freaking gosh darn game. This one has ads, 
constantly. And that one doesn't have ads constantly. At least it's only for freaking bombs, you freaking moron. It is a good game, but there is no peace and it does not give you any military. Because it's legit a cop. It's legit a freaking. It's legit basically like. Is it supposed to be? Because there's, it's war. There's never peace. And if you see that there's a peace, you get wise. Consider dictators no peace. But yeah, it shows like the name legit right there says there's no peace. And for the military, you just have to collect coins. So yeah, this person doesn't know how the game works or know that this is a ripoff. Fun, I want to be in Australia, but it is fun though. Someone has to be like ITTTT, are they into Australia? Australia flag. And I'm here. What What does this mean? What are, what is your English? Like, what is your, where is your English? Where, why are you talking like that? Where is it? It's best game, but have some GITLCG, but like I upgrade Afghanistan Air Force, but when I exit and came back, I see my Air Force in zero star, and I did not see America flag. Okay, but first of all, you should leave it as a negative remark. Why are you basically saying every game is good? No, you have to leave it as a... Do not make it freaking 100%. Leave it like at least like a freaking 4. A 4.5, not freaking, not freaking 5, freaking more. The zoom in is not good, but amazing game. Also, why those America have no flag? It's really good, though. No, it isn't. The zoom for me works, but no, at least there. This one freaking constantly has ads. I said before, and it's a copy, meaning this is this is not freaking good at all. So excellent and so energetic. No, big tears will be as much more entertaining in the country but I just said before. The one that I just showed you that was better, has better mechanics, is better than this. The game, it's very fun and it's like Hearts of Iron 4. If you know this is a copy, you could have gone to the real one, you freaking dummy. Been playing it as a time waster game and it's good. Thumbs up. No, the good time waster was the one from the freaking Dictators of Peace game. This one is freaking a time waster to the point that it's actually worse. If you have something freaking more original or more stuff or more constant than the one that, that we have in, right now in Dictators of Peace, I would have loved it. But no, there's no, it's not a good waste time. You can do, it's the same thing as wasting your time in the freaking Dictators of Peace game, you freaking idiot. This game is good. No, it isn't. I love war and contra balls. I will not go against him because, first of all, it's country balls. I understand why, why they would choose that, but okay. You lie me, this is so fun, you. This isn't, this isn't gosh darn fun, it's torture. No, it's it isn't the best. the best. I really don't care if it copied dictators, no peace. The developer just wanted to do this, that's okay. Just stop leaving bad reviews on all the comments on this game. I put to know. Please just appreciate the game and enjoy. Hashtag country balls rocks. No, we have the right to criticize this gosh darn game because first of all, even though it's 100% gosh darn free, we have the right to say it sucks to basically not make people waste their gosh darn time. This is equivalent to people who say, oh, it, it's free. It means it, get, it gets a free pass. Maybe, no, free games needs to be at least decent at best. This one was not decent at best. It's a copy. And it's the same, basically, you could basically do a better good time by doing it in the real game and not this freaking piece of crap, you freaking idiot. All right. This game didn't download it in my device, dude. Then why you rated five stars? Are you stupid? Like, why would you do that? It was hard. You could have never... That's another stupid review. Why you rated five stars, you stupid idiot? Awesome. Three thumbs up. It wasn't awesome. It was torture as heck. And it's a freaking copy and paste, which, as I said before, I like the pixel style in this. I A J S J J J. What is the language are you speaking to? What is the language that you made up? Nice game. It isn't a nice game, you freaking idiot. It isn't a nice game. We eat Kabyugi. What is that gibberish? Is it another language that I do not know about? If anyone knows this, please translate. If not, then this is basically a bunch of freaking rubbish of basically words. 8.6 out of 10. No, this is basically a freaking 1 out of 10 because, no, that's basically too polite. Make it 0 out of 10 because this game is a copy. Fantastic game. 
It isn't fantastic. Um, the game is completely bull crap. That is a legit copy and paste. I gave you guys how it could have been original, which it did, which it failed to do. And also, just because your gosh aren't copy, it doesn't freaking mean they get a pass. And now let's see what his other works before we end it off here. Wow, look, the graphics are good here. Wow, look, they did good graphics. Oh, wait a minute, there's no reviews here because nobody wants to download the crappy game. And look, they did the same thing here. Wow, are they hiding it to review bad reviews? Well, I hope, yeah, it shows this game, this developer knows how to freaking do graphics and yet failed to do this type of graphic. Yeah, frick you, frick this person. Do not harass and... That's all, everyone. I hope you guys had a good time with this video of me bashing. And just as before, as a, just one more time, do not harass the person who developed this gosh darn game because, you know, it's wrong. But please 100% do 100% go ham when it comes to um, criticizing, like, destroy, destroy the people who are basically being done. And basically make them basically be, make their eyes be open as to come saying, yeah, this is actually a piece of crap. And with that absolutely in mind, I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya and have a good day.